Mm-hmm. Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Yeah, I see you over there slipping and sliding. <laughs> He's good looking, ain't he? Oh, yeah. Tall, big, tall, fine, juicy, succulent. Whew! Suck it, suck it now. You just can't get enough of that, can you? Yeah. He's good looking. He's got money. And that car. Oh, it take your breath away. He'll make any woman pant. The brother is smoking, baby. Smoking. What you could do with all that if you just had half the chance, huh? Yeah, I know, I know. It bees like that sometimes. But see, there, there's one little catch. Now, I know you've gone on a few dates with him and, and he's taking you to dinner and coffee and lunch and all of that. But now he wants to take it a little step further, doesn't he? You know he does. And your heart is warming up to the idea. Now you know what the Bible says about thou shalt not commit adultery. You're not married, but he sure is. And you're waiting because he has shared with you out of a broken heart how unbearable his marriage is and, and what a wench his wife is and how she's just in it for the money. But he wants you to have all the honey. Yeah. Sounds great, doesn't it? So your heart bleeds for him. And you go through all these emotional changes, fantasizing about what it will be like once he chucks the old baggage and swoops you up into his arms, like a knight in shining armor. And then you begin to fantasize of what it's like to make love to him. And then one night, you kiss and you smooch and you hug because he's over at your house now while his wife is at a meeting or at church. And he has her thinking he's at a, at a business meeting, right? Yeah, he's taking care of business with you. And he can't keep his hands off you and you don't stop him. And guess what? You go all the way, don't you? Yeah, you do. You go all the way. And boy, I'm telling you, that man can make some love. You are smitten. You are his to do whatever he wants, whenever he wants, however he wants. Because you never had a lover like him before. And now, you're going to help him work on getting rid of his wife. What a horrible life for him to have to live with, to be with somebody he's so miserable with, but he's got all these financial entanglements and he's just got to time it right because she's going to really screw over him and do him so wrong. So you need to give him a little time and you're very patient and you're understanding because after all, you have fallen in love with him, haven't you? Now, he tells you that you are his lady. And your heart goes pitter-pat. <laughs> and the butterflies just go crazy in your stomach. And you are just beside yourself with passion, desire and lust for this man, aren't you? So when he takes you out, he, he takes you out in the midnight hour when most working folks are in the bed waiting to get up. He takes you out when his wife is out of town. So you don't get to go out much, but he's always at your house at all kind of crazy hours and spur of the moment so he can get a quickie or he can get maybe a nice romantic moment, maybe a half an hour 
if you're lucky. In the meantime, your heart goes pitter patting, thump, 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 thump. It's just going through changes as you fall deeply in love with another man's husband. I mean, another woman's husband. <laughs> okay, now, yeah, that was a real slip. But listen, he's not yours. He never will be. And guess what? Here's an eye opener. He's not miserable either. Almost every married man committing adultery strings women along with the exact same lies. Sad, but true. So I say to you, wake up, Sally. Tank gonna happen. You need to cut that loose. Get your own man that can be your own husband and leave that woman's man alone. He's probably a dog from the word go and you probably are not the only one. And he will not stop with you. Trust me, as soon as you cut him loose, he'll be sniffing up under someone else's skirt because that's what he do.